Hey everybody, welcome back to Ask Lex Rx. I'm Dr. Lexi, the functional medicine pharmacist at the Vine Health and Wellness, which is the wellness clinic inside of um, River City Pharmacy. And no, I don't want to leave. Okay. It says I've been going for five minutes. Anyway, so we're just going to go with it. I'm still learning how to do this on my computer. So today I'm going to be taking a deeper dive into the link between diet and diabetes or metabolic um, dysfunction. And basically what, you're what diet can cause is metabolic inflammation that long term can lead to diabetes. So I'm going to dive right in. Um, why am I talking about this today? Um, November is National Diabetes Month, so I wanted to highlight some of the science behind why uh, we make the recommendations that we do. So the standard American diet, um, I'm just going to kind of sum that up for you. It's usually high in simple carbs, sugars, and saturated fats, and pretty low in nutrient-dense fruit and vegetables, as well as healthier fats. Um, and the standard American diet, when you eat it, it can cause a sharp spike in your blood sugar, which then causes your pancreas to release insulin. So this is the, the body's normal response, which is good. But when you eat that way for every meal and you have snacks in between um, those meals, the body experiences blood sugar and insulin spikes all day long. And uh, while insulin is a vital hormone, uh, when its levels rise, in the body, it triggers low level inflammation. So usually um, that inflammation is taken care of when the insulin comes back down. But when the blood sugar spikes all day, then insulin spikes all day and the body will be in a state of low level inflammation all day long. Um, it also leads to insulin dysregulation. So if your pancreas starts making a lot more insulin than normal to compensate for the tons and tons of sugar uh, spikes all day long. And remember that inflammation and dis insulin dysfunction are protective effects of the body against um, calorie or sugar excess. So this is what your body's supposed to be doing. And we are basically figuring out why and why is what you're eating. Um, so in addition, calorie excess, weight gain, and um, the eventual obesity result in expansion of fat tissues and uh, fat tissue mass and the size of your individual fat cells. Um, when that can eventually lead to death of those fat cells, and when they die, they release their contents, and that itself causes an inflammatory response that adds to that low level of inflammation caused by the insulin spike that we just talked about. So um, the inflammatory response um, then can cause the cells, especially in your pancreas, to become resistant to the insulin, I'm sorry, the cells that can become resistant are more, they're like your brain, your heart, your um, skeletal muscle, but they can become resistant to that insulin signal when released by your pancreas. So eventually your pancreas gets really tired and it stops secreting as much insulin. This is when your blood sugar starts to rise because you don't have as much insulin forcing it into cells and it becomes detectable in blood. So only at this point, everything that I've talked to you, or talked about beforehand, all of that is um, happening way before you actually get high blood sugars. So in short, the standard Amer American diet is pro-inflammatory, but a diet full of vitamins and minerals and anti-inflammatory fats can reverse all of this. It can actually be reversed. Um, so if you don't know where to start, uh, working with someone um, like me or a nutrition coach um, should be or could be a really great start for you. Um, there are, you know, it, it doesn't have to be hard. You can just take one step at a time. That's how you make permanent change. 
Um, and there are several um, other supplements that can also help speed up the reversal process um, when paired with nutrition change. And um, for that, you can check out our website. Um, you can type in diabetes in the search bar and it'll pull out or pull up all of the supplements that are good for diabetes. Um, but all of those supplements are on sale this month. So we do have a checkout code um, on our website if you choose to shop with us online or if you come into the store, it's automatically on sale. So if you guys have any questions, I know I kind of went over a lot there, but I hope that kind of cleared things up of how it, it can progress from how you eat to diabetes. Um, and I, uh, by the way, one more fun fact, I guess, it can take on average about 13 to 15 years for that entire process to happen before you actually are diagnosed with diabetes. So um, again, if you have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys next week.